So, the USFL Championship is in about 24 hours. So, I'm a little late on this preview, but we're going to get right into it. And what we do know is that next year, we're going to have at least two to four hub cities. Who knows where they all will be? I assume Birmingham will be one of those cities. And I don't know who the other three cities are, but there's been various different cities thrown out there um, from the current markets. And the USFL may also consider expansion in the future to get the 12 teams. That was also a thing that's happening. So Fox is really pushing this as, you know, their baby, you know. One of their new tent poles, a new strategy to get some programming in the spring and the early summer months, and I think it's working out for them just fine. Now, for this championship game, the Birmingham Stallions are favored by four and a half points against the Philadelphia Stars, and that line may have changed sometime. I forgot what the over under was, I took note of this like a week or two ago. And uh, I don't know what I don't know what it is now. For the Stallions, they have a talented, talented defense led by Demarcus Gates and Scooby Wright, and a nice, nice tandem of wide receivers and running backs: Victor Bolt and Marlon Williams at wide receiver, C.J. Marable, Bo Scarborough at running back, and with Jamar Smith at the helm at QB it's gonna be real intriguing it's gonna be real intriguing to see how in the world how in the world could this get you know could this get any any crazier right you know like come on you're kidding me right you're kidding no Birmingham has played a a phenomenal season in which they've only lost one game and you know, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, th this one, this is going to be crazy to see if Skip Holtz can pull this off with the Stallions team, you know, having a, a dream season the way it's been, you know, all the games were in Birmingham, so the favor, you know, was, well, actually not all the games, not, not talking about the playoff games, but, you know, all the regular season games were in Birmingham, and so things, things were, you know, in Birmingham's favor in one fashion all season long, but in others, they've just played very well, and that has helped them out immensely. <laughs> On the other side, Bart Andrus and the Philadelphia Stars. Um, we don't know which quarterback it's going to be. Is it going to be Brian Scott? Is it going to be Case Cookus? Um... I'm not sure entirely. I haven't looked up anything at all, uh, but we'll see. Uh, with, with Jordan Moore, Channing Stripling on the defensive side, Jordan Sewell as well on offense, and Matt Coburn at running back. You know, you know, we'll see. You know how the Stars team can do because again, a lot of these guys were banged up in that playoff game last week against New Jersey. So we'll see if these guys can go and if the stars can if the stars can actually do it you know again a lot of people have been picking them for winning the championship but I don't think that'll be the case this week I don't think that'll be the case to end the season you know in the US but I do think I do think that the Birmingham Stallions will bookend a magical season with a championship I just think that's how it's going to go. It's, it's the final game of the 2022 USFL season. Cannot wait to talk to you all um, in about 20 plus hours and a little over a day. You know, it's going to be a fun way to end, you know, to, or rather to keep going on the 4th of July weekend. Because, I mean, the activity does not stop. You know, just because, you know, you know, just because, you know, Saturday's over almost, and Sunday, got to wait all day 
for this USFL championship. Um, in any case, thank you all for sticking with me the entire season on the USFL. And our final recap, reaction to the USFL championship, you know, for the 2022 season will be tomorrow night around 10 o'clock Central Time, 11 Eastern. So make sure you come on back and stick with me. Until then, make sure to get us the 180. Um, I know I know a good friend of mine is helping push my content on Twitter, but I don't, I don't really use Twitter for pushing my content anymore. But um, again, stick with me. We we got we got a long way to go, and I'll see you all later tonight in about maybe like four or five hours. That's all this week in indoor football. Uh, still not well, but I'm trying my best. So I'll see you all in about four to five hours. Y'all take care.